hey what's going on guys um, today we are going to take a look at creating this really cool connected dot animation inside hit film express um, so uh, let's take a look at how to actually create this animation inside hit film express so we'll just start by creating a new composition so go to file and then click on new I'm just going to select the 1080p template at 60 frames per second and click on start compositing. Now let's just click on new layer and create a new plane layer. We'll call this circle left and we can change the color as well. I'm just going to use a white color and click on OK. And then we'll go to effects and we'll search for the 1080p title safe guide effect and apply it on this layer. Now I won't be able to say anything because uh, we need to change the blending mode to normal. Now we can change the color to black as well. Now we can see the lines, these guides a bit more clearly. And then we can just zoom in. Make sure your circle left layer is highlighted. And then select the ellipse mask tool. Hold the move mouse cursor in the middle of the crosshair thing, the intersection right here. And then you can just hold the shift and the alt key on your keyboard and basically create a perfect circle shape like that then you can just get rid of the title save guide effect we don't need that anymore and let's just go inside mask and then transform make sure the playhead is at the first frame of the video and then we can just create some random keyframes at random intervals and create a simple animation then we can just copy over these keyframes and paste them over like that copy these and create a random animation All right so we have something like that and then uh, we can just duplicate this circle left layer and we can call this circle right and uh, we can just go inside mask transform and we can just delete all these position keyframes let's move to the first frame of a video and let's set the reset the position uh, we can just move this circle shape to the right some somewhere over there just move it to the right and then we can just select and create a position keyframe and try to create the random animation Okay, so we have an animation like that and then what you have to do is uh, click on new layer and now this time we'll create a new point layer. Make sure your play is at, playhead is at the first frame of your video and then select the selection tool and just have to go to the circle left layer and copy all these keyframes. You just go to new point layer, transform and paste the keyframes at the position and uh, let's just call this point left create another point layer and this will be our point right and then we can just go to circle right and copy all the position keyframes go to point right transform and paste these keyframes all right and then what you have to do is well just have to create that line and to do that we'll just create another plane layer we'll call this line and click on ok then in the effects we will search for the light sword 2 point auto effect and drop it on our line layer and let's just zoom out and then what you have to do is let's go to the controls expand the light sword effect or you can change the blend mode to normal so there is your light sword and then we can just drop the distortion down to zero <coughs> and then what you have to do is we set the blend to none forgot about that and then you just have to open up the tip and the hilt section and just have to reset the position of the tip to zero make sure your player is at the first frame of the video and then we just have to 
uh, actually uh, just have to parent these so the tilt part should go to the we we'll just have to select the position click on none and just parent it that to the point right layer and on the tip we'll just click on none and parent that to point left layer and let's just play this animation and you can see that your line is now automatically being animated and uh, it's being actually done by these point layers that we just created pretty cool huh and then uh, just have to change the appearance of this line then you can just go to core and we can change the width right here we can change the color and I'm going to use the white color then we can change the feather to zero we don't need any feather stability to 100 and inner glow we we'll set that to zero now you can see that you get these hard edges and um, to fix that you can just increase the feather slightly so let's do something like 11 percent and let's just zoom out and play this animation so there you have it that's how we can actually create this connected dots kind of animation inside hit film express so i hope this video was helpful to you i hope you learned something new if you did please do consider liking the video and also subscribing to the channel and uh, i'll see you in the next one